Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and in this video, I'm going to look at passing arrays into functions as pointers. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a, a function, and we'll call it double up. And what we're going to do is pass it in. What we want the function to do is I'm going to pass it the name of, a of an array, and I want it to double every element's value and then just return. So there is no return. The return is type is void, but whatever variable I or whatever array I pass into this thing, every value is going to be doubled by the time it's done. So we also also want to pass in the length of it. And what we're going to do is get experience with passing uh, parameters as reference by reference to into a function. Okay, so let's go ahead and code this up. And we're actually going to do a time series because this will like bring everything together we've done so far. Uh, it seems like a lot of code, but we'll actually be able to do it. Like, we'll just blow through it because we're so good now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm in my um, mod 09 code along. Let's go ahead and create a new file called pointers in funks. <clears throat> oh, stop. C. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Uh, let's do a time series of a sine wave. Okay, so that's going to set the context for this entire program. So we're going to go passing ram or passing by param. Okay, that's really what we're learning here. <clears throat> but we're going to do pound include and we're going to bring in the standard io.h library because that's where pernf is. We're also going to bring in the math uh, library because we're going to do a sine function. And then we're going to set up some pound defines because we're going to do a time series sweep. So we're going to go from T min equals or T min zero, and then we'll do a pound define T max and we'll go 6.28. This will be the range of time we put into for, for, across one full cycle of a sine wave. And we'll do a pound define and we'll go endpoints and we'll start with 10. Okay. Now what we're going to do is functions. So before the main function, we're going to create our function area. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to say function to double every element. Okay. And I'm not going to return anything, but I will alter the array that is passed in in my parameter list. So I'm going to go ahead and say, this is an array. I'm going to expect an array that points to doubles. And I am going to put asterisk APTR. Okay, that says I'm bringing this in as an array pointing to this is the starting the this pointer has the address of the starting value in an array of type doubles. Okay, so everything in the array is a double. And also, by the way, it's going to give me the size. Okay, and so really all we're going to do in here is we'll just go through the for loop and say for i is equal to zero. Uh, I is less than n. And these are local variables, i plus plus, and then we'll, we're just going to do this. We're going to say that the pointer a ptr plus i, okay, let me space that out, plus i equals the pointer, the value, a pointer plus i plus i <laughs> times two. And that's it. Okay. And then we're done. Okay, we don't even need to do a return, but we can if we want, but I'll just leave it out. All right, so think about what we did here. We used this asterisk right here, which means value of, and it's going to go to the value pointed by the pointer address, <clears throat> but it's going to have an index on it, an offset of plus i. And the it's automatic that the compiler will figure out, it's like, oh, i, how far is i just going to be 0, 1, 2, 3? It will be in printf. However, for this, it'll physically alter this address by eight locations because this is a double. Okay, so it's taken care of automatically. So I'd say the value at the address being pointed to plus an offset, take that whole thing, take the value in there, multiply it by two, and stuff it back into the location being pointed to by a pointer. That is the function. Okay, so now we're, we're ready to do a uh, main function <clears throat> and let's go. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is set up our little main function. So int main void open curly. I'm going to come down here, go return zero, close curly. Okay, we got our thing. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, everything is coming together here. Okay, uh, we're going to start off and we're going to set up some variables. All right, we're going to do a double, okay, and we're going to have an array that's got n points in it, okay, and then we're going to have another array that's going to be called v sine. It's going to have n points 
in it. And then we're going to have a pointer that is pointing to the beginning address of V sine. Okay, and that's it. Or V sine equals V sine. <clears throat> so I set up, this is V pointer, sorry. V pointer, and it's going to be initialized with the starting address of this array. Okay, and I set it up as a pointer. All right, life is good. The only thing else we need is a double, we need a T uh, step variable, which is going to hold this T step in order to set up my timer. So this is going to be T max minus T min divided by N points minus one. And there you go. Okay. All right. Life is good. Let's, uh, we better get our compiler going here. We got a lot of code here that I want to crank through. So let me go into mod 09. Okay. Everything's in there. Let me do a GCC of pointers and funks. Okay. Redirect the output to, we'll move this over here so we can see a little bit more. Uh, go ahead and redirect the output to pointers and funks. And then good to go. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get this command history going. We know we're going to need the link math option on here. Okay, so there we go. So there we have it. All right, now let's do some looping structures. And we'll take advantage of copy and paste quite a bit on this, okay? So let's fill in, uh, fill in T array, okay? So remember to fill in a time array. What you're going to do is you set the first element equal to the minimum. Okay, so that's going to be zero. And then we're going to have a for loop that will go through starting at the first element. And as long as this lesson n points, what you're going to do is each time through, you will increment it. And then we open a curly. And all we're going to do is say, okay, the element is, the element at the current loop variable is equal to the last element, i minus one, plus t step. Okay, and then we go ahead and close it. We're off and running. Okay, so we got that. I is equal to one. Oh, got to get our send a little uh, int i on there. Okay, all right. So life is good. Saved it up. Let's go ahead and GCC it. Looking good. All right, now let's fill uh, the sign array. So fill the sign. And then what we'll do for this one, you're basically just going to go for i equals zero i less than n points, i plus plus, and then you open this up. And all you're going to do here is just basically say z sine at i is equal to the sine function at t i. So that's sine of t. And then you're done. At this point, we've got the arrays. So let's now do this. Let's go print original arrays, and let's do this. Uh, I'm going to say four again. I is equal to zero, I is less than n points, I plus plus. I want to copy and paste this going forward. <laughs> let's just do this. Print F, and I'm going to go <clears throat> T at, and let's print the, the actual index just so we know it, okay, is equal to, and now I'm going to print the value held in that T array. So I'll go format specifier for a long float with three precision, long float. And then we'll do, let's go ahead and throw us tab around there. So tab, and then we'll go V sign at its index. So percent D is equal to, same thing, it's a long float. So let me do format specifier long float, but with three decimal places. And then let's go ahead and end it. And then what I'm gonna do is let me pull this over so you don't have to line wrap so much. I need to go, I is my thing I'm gonna print there. T is the print thing I'm gonna print there. I is what I'm going to print here, and then V sign is what I'm going to print there. So I'm going to go I, T at I, I, V sign at I, and then we're done. Okay, so now we just close that little fella up, and I'm feeling a little good. I'm feeling pretty good, right? How about you? Let's go ahead and GCC this little buddy, and let's now run it. So I'm going to go pointers and funks, and there we go. Cool. We did it. Look how fast we're getting at this. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is awesome. This is awesome. All right. You're, you're coming a long way. All right. So now let's, let's call the function. Okay. So all I'm going to do is say double up and I'm going to point at V. I'm going to call it with sending in V pointer and N points. And that's it. The, I just called the function. Okay. So let me do this. I'm going to go call function to double elements. 
And it's like, oh, that's kind of neat. All I did was put the name of the array, which is a pointer to the first of the address of the first uh, element. All right, well, now I got to see if that worked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the thing again. So this time I can copy and paste though. So let me come over here and I'm going to get in here and I'm going to go into visual mode by hitting V, arrow, 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 arrow. Y in order to yank it, and then I hit P to do that. And now I'm gonna come over here. I must reprint new array, and that will be exactly the same. Okay. So now I should get two of these little fellows. Let me. I'm gonna move this like over here now. Okay. Since we we can kind of see it here. So let me do this. I'm gonna GCC it, and then I'm gonna run it. And let's look at what we got here. So let me clear it and run it again. Okay, so here was the first one, zero, three, up to here, and then here's the second one. I, let me do, let me, uh, let me do this. Print F, line return, line return, so that it actually separates them a little bit. Okay, we're almost done here. Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> okay, look at it. It's doubled. So six four three went to one point two eight five. One point uh, nine eight five went to double. It doubled. It doubled. It doubled. It's like holy cow, this is kind of cool. I think we can do it again. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to go like this. Visual mode. Y. P. Done. Now it's going to print three times. Oh, baby. Look at it. It doubled it to this one. Then it doubled it again. And this is fantastic. Okay. So we actually are doing this. This is, this is really cool. Okay. You're passing by parameter. All right. So now one last thing that we need to think about. Okay. So you, you are now giving the function total control. Like you are giving it, <clears throat> you're going, Hey man, here's the start of this, uh, starting address of this array go ahead and mess with it. So you got to be a little careful in the function. Okay, so you could code this up and be wrong, right? You can mess this up. Uh, but one of the things that C allows you to do is say, you know what, what if you don't want to mess with one of them, I'm going to give you the ability to protect it. So here's an example, let me let me do this one uh, function to copy, okay, array. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, I'm going to go void, copy over and I'm gonna say double and I'm gonna do it the wrong way first I'm gonna say a pointer and then double and then b pointer and then uh int n okay and then all I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna go int i and I'm gonna go four uh i equals zero i less than n i plus plus and then open it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it okay so I'm gonna copy the elements from this array over into this array Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, point, my pointer syntax. So B pointer uh, plus I is equal to A pointer plus I, and I just copied it. Okay, all right. So I'm feeling all right. Uh, let's see where we're at here. I'm feeling good. Lost my mouse. I lost my cursor. All right. So then I'm done with that for loop. I'm just gonna end it. I'm jumping all over the place. I got my caps lock on or something. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So that will copy it over. Okay, so that's going to copy this thing over. All right. Life is good, right? That's fine. It will copy it over. But what if we accidentally messed with a pointer in here? We were trying to copy a pointer over to B corner. So let's let's do this right here. Uh, let's let's just pretend, for example, that I am right. Let me let me make another. Uh, array so v sign two okay and i'm gonna come down here and after i fill the sign i'm gonna i'm gonna call this this uh function so i'm gonna call copy over and i'm gonna pass it uh v sign v sign two and n points okay and so it's like all it's gonna do is copy it over right all right so let's go do now let's go run this so GCC, whatever, and it, it's fine, right? So it, it ran and everything was great, okay? But what would happen if I had messed around with A accidentally? Well, C gives you the ability to come in here and put const as a way to not mess with the, an array that you don't wanna mess with, okay? So let's take a look at how this works. So um, let me, 
I'm going to save this and I just want to show you this one last thing here. Uh, so let me pile this. Yep, 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 yep. Pointer. Okay. Now let's come over here and let's biff this. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go star a pointer plus I, and I'm just going to say equals, uh, 99.99. Okay. So I'm writing, I'm trying to write to a, it won't even let me compile. It won't even let me save. So it, it's like, no, 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 no. You put const here. You can't do that. Uh, that's illegal. That's what const means. Don't mess with a. So if I came up here though, and I did this, it will let me. Okay. So it will let me blow away a, even though I wasn't intending to. So const is really important in order to uh, preserve one of the inputs. So it's like, dude, come on, you put const here. You can't have it. <laughs> All right. That is it. That is passing arrays to functions, uh, using this passing by reference concept, which basically means you're passing in the starting address of the array. All right. Nice work.